trend is becoming more and more an issue. The trend, fentanyl overdose deaths. Fake pills, we're seeing that uh, throughout the last year. A concerned Collier County Sheriff Kevin Rambos says his office has been looking at closely for the past six to eight months. What we didn't want to see was a continued overdosing problem with people dying unnecessarily in Collier County. One of the many reasons Rambos has launched Laced and Lethal, a safety program targeting schools, businesses, and his own department. District Superintendent Dr. Leslie Riccadelli is already starting the program. Every school clinic received four units of Narcan this week. They will get more uh, for the additional AEDs that are outside of the clinic. Each teacher will get training on how to give Narcan. Parents will get handouts and students will watch videos like this. You won't know you're taking a lethal dose until it's too late. The more they know, the less likely uh, something bad will happen. The sheriff's office is also getting the Chamber of Commerce involved. The chair tells me they're going to reach out to their members, the businesses, and encourage them to get their staff trained and hold Narcan inside of their businesses. We start with what is being embraced by CCPS as well as the sheriff's department. That's how Greater Naples Chair Julie Schmelzley plans to approach businesses with the new program. Employees will learn how to give Narcan and limit potential exposure. To protect others, we need awareness. A message being told to the sheriff's own deputies. In April 2023, one got a dose of Narcan after being exposed to fentanyl on a domestic violence call. Now, they're training to use protective equipment like this. We've been to assistance calls without any indication of uh, fentanyl being there. The sheriff says he hopes this program will prevent those deadly doses, exposures, potentially saving lives in our community. What we're really concerned about is what is coming in the next three to five years, and we need to start to stop it today. Reporting in Collier County, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4.